So just what is the Prime Minister planning to do about it? Well, here he was today in the region, one visit out to a business in Darwin, another a brand new youth centre in Wigan, where, not surprisingly, youth unemployment was on the agenda. Here's our political editor, Arif Ansari. And this is the yeah. Yeah, it started with a high-gloss tour. Crown Paints in Darwin is a successful business which employs apprentices. But what about those not so fortunate? I think the latest figures show 120,000 younger people either don't have a job or aren't in training. And those who we're talking to about that today, who are in that position, say the government isn't doing enough to help. Some young people are leaving school and they're not ready for apprenticeships. So we need to have more pre-apprenticeship training to get them into a place where they can take on uh, the idea of an apprenticeship. And there's something else we have to do, which is recognise that too many of our young people are leaving school without the basic qualifications, particularly in English and maths, that almost every job in the world requires. Then to Wigan, where successful entrepreneurs like Dave Whelan, who know the ropes, have given millions to build a youth zone. While the Prime Minister's inside, there's been a lively demonstration outside from people making sure that their message gets heard too. I think it's just absolutely ironic that he's coming to open the youth centre, which the question will also have to be asked, how long is it going to be open before the council have to close it? It's just ridiculous. But since it opened in June, 6,000 young people have already joined. We always struggle like with youth unemployment anyway, um, but it's really good to give people a place to go that's safe, but as well for young adults like us and young people to just get experience volunteering. This has just kept me busy. I don't do really much else now, I'm just always going here. So. And do you feel as if it might help you find a, a, a job, a permit? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the experience here, um, with it being on my CV, I think I'll, I'll get it over somebody else. But there's little doubt that more young people need more help. Well, Arif, two very distinct parts to the visit mm. today. What's the significance of that? Well, if we take the first bit to the paint factory, politically, that was in Darwin. That's a marginal constituency. It's one of those that the Prime Minister needs to win at the next general election. In terms of the questions, they were all about standard of living, so things like the minimum wage or uh, pen the retirement age, those kinds of issues, uh, which the parties know is going to be what counts at the next general election as well. Now, if we move on to have a look at the youth centre in Wigan, this, for the Prime Minister, is part of the solution, giving young people the confidence and skills they need. Now, we heard our demonstrator saying there, well, what about the pressure that youth centres are under, which is perfectly true. But the Prime Minister would say, well, this is the answer, because the funding for it is coming largely from philanthropists and from charities, from rich businessmen supported by local government, the council giving the land, giving some of the funding. So yes, youth services under pressure, but for the Prime Minister, the centre in Wigan, the ideal solution. OK, Arif, thank you very much for that. Roger. Jane, thank you very much. Let's bring you some other news from around the